I just lost like 40 minutes of audio with me being dramatic, going on a religious rant, going on a, a, a talk about, oh fuck, it was like 40 minutes of really cool audio, like super cool audio. Fuck! And I was like, uh, I just like I haven't talked for fourteen minutes in a long while. I don't remember. <sighs> Basically, a summary. First, it was supposed to be about me. The title, the cool title, was like the beginning of the rest of my life. Um, maybe I don't even use that because I just saw that last week era was. Um, last week, title was new era for real, for real. Um fuck like i thought i'd be more adult about losing beings now and like the file i was able to download is corrupted but like it was 40 minutes of being like "Ooh, dio welcome to your personal code of conduct my round around stop so let's just give like a recap of what happened i trusted anchor so much obviously um 40 minutes it's basically this um I first went off tangent when I was talking about like what I wanted to do at the beginning of my life, uh, but like just now at the end of like the full rant, the conclusion, they talk about several things, they deciding how things are going to go, the structure of the station, and it was decided that we were going to go with API engineering, and we we're not sure about like, and we're like seriously considering like are we going to like put in the vigor and the energy to become a full stack engineer and getting those skills and i was like maybe not like maybe we should become a process developer but then again being a process developer you probably have to be like a full stack engineer where you uh, i actually there was no process developer you probably have to be like a full stack engineer where you have like you you're able to control the screens understand processes and i was like do you just want to like work with apis and i was like yes like so like I think back end because like I already have like data engineering and moving things from place to place and like making changes and automating data cleaning and keeping pipelines seem like a really cool idea. But then I have to like really understand as your I feel yeah. So we're going with API engineering, pop up with Python. I don't know. Like the thing is, I even really understand Python. Like this, this, this thing wasn't part of the other. The thing is, I started very energetic. I even had like a whole side rant on how, on like racism and religion, and two key like highlights of the whole rant was two key frames was when, um, I was talking about Warhammer 40k, which like finds a way to enter all my conversations. Oh God, I missed my audio, and I was like. And it ended with like all the comments. I was like, "Oh, Netflix and Disney are just going to ruin it by making it diverse." And I'm just like, "Well," and they were like, "Oh, they can be guardsmen." Like, oh God, I hate like internet people. But then again, I'm an internet person who is deluding herself that she has something to say on the internet. The thing is, it's just like a weekly decompress where I just talk to myself for hours, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." Like, and things do I always ask myself do I ever actually want the non-person this thing to go up then you'd, you'd actually be held uncountable for the nonsense that you say on the internet but like as an African on the African continent like I'd like to think okay obviously nobody wants to be in a 40k Warhammer future but like I'd like to be I think I'd be part of a super high tech future but like but if for some reason humanity only consists of like the melanin deficient, well I guess well that's their version of humanity. I'd be Tao. Or I'd be worship of Sanesh, fuck you. Um <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I think I I like that entire sentence that just made me happy. But like it was that whole forty K in the comment section as usual the things i don't really know or care about the law i just like because i have been listening to a lot of video game lore it's like really good high fantasy stuff and this is like in the previous audio i went on a super tangent on like how biblical how like awesome biblical law is and why i'm not religious but like that's going to go after like this tangent and things not necessarily feeling bad about how the comments like on like a lot of high fantasy stuff like the thing is things are often written in the point of view of 
like the protagonist and the protagonist is often a reflection of what the writer wants to be or of like a self-insertion novel and yeah and most novels have been written by a certain kind of people and now that you're getting like a lot of web novels you're reading a lot of web novels from the east it's the exact same thing everybody's chinese like every freaking person and they're not going to you're not going to like when you don't imagine a diverse future like when everyone and it's even worse it's like like freaking 1980s okay no not even 1940s style western novel the level of i cannot imagine anybody who doesn't look exactly like me but things like when you are like on the like a middle class in a relatively poor country like everybody's in your mental cautious consciousness because like <laughs> all the other countries are more powerful than your country and they're net so like everybody's in your consciousness well they're all bad guys in your consciousness but like everybody is in your consciousness but they exist and you know, as well humanity is shit the entire species human whatever color and facial features you have you're a piece of shit because and I, I landed with the whole chino achebe having this like conversation and when he was a young boy like he used to love like this whole the captain sit, rescues travel around the boat rescues people changes the way of the evil natives like fights some evil chief and runs away with treasure like that was like the stand until he sat down and he realized wait i it's me me as native i am the natives <laughs> my dad is the chief like they're talking about me and he realized wait you're not even considered like yes like human societies all have their commas and their and their bad shit and their fucked up things that ideally nobody should be carrying into the more modern era like we all have our fucked up things that we need to have like not necessarily conversations but like okay let's think about this with this kind of social conventions fit in a supercharged ai future well probably because like human beings will always find a way to end up with mad marks at the end of the day but he realized that it made him i don't know what i made him not idolize any writers but he made him wanted to write in the point of view of the native like yes there's some things that ideally should not go in a modern nation but like his motivations are not that weird like like the actions might seem weird to you but like in context of his cultures they are very logical decisions that there are decisions that he felt he had to make to protect his ego to protect his family because i don't know why ego always comes first in this situation to protect his perceived importance and some crazy weirdo was taking that away from him because the weirdo had a gun and it was like turning the world like upside down like what even is my existence <laughs> well i don't know it's like i'm trying to turn like i'm giving like the um the spark notes a spark notes what is called of 40 minutes of content that i just lost and i'm in tears like my eyes okay not in tears but like my eyes are watering and i'm like i'm an adult i thought shit like this was supposed to be like okay you are being practical and having a conversation like i'm just recording something else in the same anchor like a goat like i should get like really good recording software like a good recording app and then again I have, then you have adult money you can't pay for it so far it's not a recording subscription get a good audio recorder and do like pay like an adult jeez anyways um fuck i can't remember because Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, cause the thing is, even like pay for the recording, cause you're not going to fire up Audacity on my laptop and your laptop and edit anything. Like, what the fuck was I bringing with energy? I'm still confidently able to come back to the office, come back home at 8 p.m. from an office and be like, "Yo, like I just worked 15 hours." <laughs> fuck ew. Anyways, um, but like, where was that energy coming from? We need that. We we don't we need that energy to put in other things. Oh yeah, and I had like a huge branch off to religion where I talked about my older sister and how kind of sort of proud I was, like, and how she she has taken up the mantle of the most religious person I know. Okay, and, like that is related to me because I know a lot of religious people, and even then she's like very dim in comparison to her the religious family she married into. 
but i do like her philosophy because there's one thing that she we had a conversation because uh, because my parents my her and my mother are like the things they they're intervening me as the youngest female they wouldn't dare do that to my older brother i don't know he's a dude he did me allowed to make any decision their heart's desires and things the moments they let up oh god they're manipulated to the high heavens so oh dudes try as much as possible to keep their mothers out of their lives because if not you're just oh fuck your life ruined not like ruined it's just like give somebody an inch they take a mile that kind of advice but then again i'm a young female you're allowed to do that to me <laughs> i'm talking in context of older sisters and mothers so like they've all decided that like oh that needs to get closer to god and i went to rant on how i do generally like my older sister's philosophy where she, she feels like well there is there has to be something she doesn't necessarily think it's a christian god she just she believes that somebody should be something and hold on to something and like the world is too large and too vast to be explained and she feels that there must be something behind it but she's not she doesn't have the hubris that i've seen a lot of people who believe in things i'm like well mine is the one way thing she's just like well this is what i know this is what i was raised into and i'm going to continue with that but then again and i'm going to continue with that. And I was like, that's a, that's a good philosophy to have. You, you think is, we like to tell ourselves that we want ourselves to be like outstanding. The things we want to be, I'm saying we as if ooh, stereotype the whole of humanity. Well, you see, I'm not like other humans. I don't just stereotype a gender or a race. I think all of us are fucking stupid. So I'm not like you all. <laughs> Come on. But like, um all of humanity says oh they want to be outstanding i don't know i think we want to be the best of things that um that are accepted <laughs> so like but our outstanding is the best of things that are accepted and being doing that in a position where you be praised and celebrated right very few few people want to be trendsetters in the opposite direction whether negative or positive Okay, and if it's positive, they want to like oh a more society and a, a, an easy societal ease into. Nobody wants to be an outcast, and well, yeah, and nobody wants their children to be an to be outcast. And some people's reaction, especially when they have no choice, is to try and change the entire system and push for everything. But other people, it's just to hope that your children are not quote unquote weird. They're not, yeah, you know, they're not. Well, I don't have to say the entire sentence. They're just not that they, they. You just hope that they are perfectly straight and they love Jesus, because you don't want to like question yourself. What will happen if it's the alternative? Like, what decisions are you going to make? Are you going to choose your child? Are you going to choose your community? Are you going to that, all those kind of questions? You don't have to answer it if everybody is in straight and narrow. You get? You feel me? there are no commas but then again you realize these are just the opens and up us like stuff you're open to and that's it and i think one of the reasons i never really got around to being religious was um i just didn't want to accept that all of my ancestors pre the landing of the of the arab raiders or the arab traders not raiders i don't think we have ever been raided by arabs the arab traders and the european colonists that everybody in my lineage pre those two sets are going to fucking hell or like the whole of india is going to hell or, or like the whole of china or maybe it is they are and the lord is like fuck all of y'all <laughs> but if there was one religion i'd want to be true it'd be any of those like um verdict religions like buddhism jainism hinduism why did you forget the big one and um yeah, like one of those various religions that believe time is cyclical and like and reincarnation is a thing and the goal is to be one with the universe and, and to separate from the cycle of reincarnation. It'd be so cool because every time I think of like like being one with the universe, the first thing that comes to mind is like I'm the arm of a giant Autobot or like okay I, I, th- I think i don't think Autobot is the word maybe a thundercats and they call it thundercats no no thundercats but I thought Thundercats are like a giant maker. Like what, whatever 
Oh, was it Space Force? What's the name of the one that had Keith and Lance? Yeah, uh, and and Shiro or something. I don't know, remember the name of their castle shot. But the ones that you guys all formed to form a giant space robot thing. Uh, that's the only thing that comes to my head when you think like the soul is part of one of the entire universe or so, like one singular entity, one singular ide- identity and we're trying to separate from that. And I do like the fact that like yeah sure we want our enemies to be tortured but like even if you kill like a million people I don't think you deserve to be tortured for all of inter- eternity even if you tortured and treated them horribly. Maybe you can do it like a lifetime or the like the expected lifetime of each other person you told it but like there has to be an end inside like do we know how long eternity is like so like burn you until your soul is purified it might take a fucking long ass time but it's not going to be eternity i don't know i went off point let me just stop recording here and Dario is really happy i like past two weeks consistently following a task and things i want to flood my calendar with tasks that need to be completed so i can feel satisfied at the end of each day i'm like oh i did that oh cool oh well, goodbye 40 minutes of context i content i've been able to do like 17 minutes spark notes version of those 40 minutes because i had like so many tangents and storylines and and vibes and energy and all the stuff that I had had spoken (sighs) well it has been a personal code of conduct and I'm no longer going to call it the title I was super excited to call it which was like um, the beginning of the rest of my life or should I still do this because this doesn't feel like I just wrote the beginning of the rest of my life maybe I'll do that next week but yeah, maybe I'll still call it the beginning of the rest of my life. Well, it has been a personal code of conduct. And this title, I- I'm great at titles, but shitty at content, you know? And this title is eye catching, but the content is disappointing. It has been a personal code of conduct, and I'm crying for my 40 minutes of crafted content. Bye!